I did not think I was going to ever talk about this clown. You know who I'm talking about. You know. You know, Jake Paul. He released a music video. I dreaded this day from ever happening. But he released another music video. This is in my nightmares. Every single night. It's when Jake Paul releases the music video. One of my biggest nightmares ever since May of 2017 was, and it's every day, bro, too. You go to his channel, it's every day, bro, remixes up there. It gets views, though. Gets views because he made a remix, and now it's at, like, the top of the trending page. Still is. I like 20 million views. <sighs> More five-year-olds getting sucked in by Jake Paul. Now, I'm just not making this video because of I'm in the low gang. I'm making this video because the internet deserves the truth. And when Jake Paul keeps lying to his fans like, OMG, he someone in the Team 10 house got pregnant, you know you're getting clickbaited. So stop, notice what you're clicking on, stop clicking on it, and even if you do click on it, leave a dislike. Because fake clickbait is not going to get Jake Paul anywhere no more. After you watch this video, oh, Jake Paul should be extinct. Jake Paul shall no longer exist. Other thoughts, his music, some of it is like maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10. But then there's the absolute Satan screaming into a microphone, which is... It's every day, bro. <sighs> it's every day, bro, is the worst music video ever released. It's worse than anything I've ever made. And I thought nothing could be worse than my most popular music video, which is also my most popular video. Because, like, that took almost... 3% out of 100% effort. Didn't take that long. It's Yet it still grows and grows and grows. Now, I used to be a Jake Pauler. I used to get sucked in like that. Like a whirlpool. And you're going get, to get sucked down and drown into Jake Paul. I used to be one of those people. And that's how I made the song. <sighs> Guys. God, forgive me of the sin, but I made a song about being a Jake Paul fan. Ugh. Now, just for that, I'm going to hell. Because I used to be a Jake Pauler. Up until July of 2017, I was a Jake Pauler. R.I.P. me being a Jake Pauler. April 2017 to July 2017. I'll never be a Jake Pauler again. I swear. God, forgive me of the sin of being a Jake Pauler for three months. Now, originally when I first found their channels back in February of 2017, I was a low gangster. Then I found out about D Dork Paul, Loser Paul, and then I said, oh, this guy looks cool. He's got a nicer house than Logan's apartment. But now, to be honest, Jake's still got a nicer and bigger house, but I like Logan's personally more than Jake's. If I were to prefer one of the two, Logan's house, yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm stuck with this open door while I record. I would really like a recording, like, office. And Logan's house is like 23 rooms, so I could do that anywhere. Jake's house, though, does not have a lot. Whew. And then, I just don't know what to say. Don't get sucked in by Jake Paul, okay? When he tells you to buy the merch, he goes and he goes onto his keyboard. Er, hmm. Hey, mini Jake Paul. Uh, I got a question for you. Um, on my merch store, can you go and type a bunch of random numbers? and then put a dollar sign at the end and so I can price my merch that way. Yeah! His merch is way too overpriced. Like, I, I consider buying it. I have a Team 10 hoodie from the three months when I was a Jake Pauler. But I have a Maverick shirt over there in my room. And a sweater. And track pants from the Red Drop. So, that's what he, Logan, I think, actually reasonably prices his merch. It's not like Jake Paul's merch or like Tanner Fox's merch that's like way overpriced. Because I compare everything. And I go and take the thought what it is to make this video. I go and research every little point I can make. And Jake, for Jake Paul, this video could be three hundred thousand days long but guess what it can't be because youtube has a limit and so does my editor <sighs> and then jake paul just massively flexes all of his money he like hey i just got a ten thousand dollar ten million dollar mansion fans oh i wish i had that i'm still stuck living in my parents basement and then, hey guys, I just bought a new Lamborghini, two Ferraris. Hey. Fans. Aw, oh, but I'm still driving in my mom's Honda from 2007. And I can go on and on about how he flexes. Flexes about it, having his own clothing brand, which, guess what? 1,000 subscribers and BPOTC merch is dropping. It's getting me with 1,000 subscribers. <sighs> well, well, well. Jake Paul, no, not good. Logan Paul, a okay. So, in all, which one should you subscribe to? Logan, obviously. I will admit, both of them do dumb things at times. But Logan is a bit more smart than Jake, and he doesn't, like, necessarily try to ruin his new house, like, right away, just like Jake did, by running the Tesla, almost running the Tesla, the blood shark, right into his garage. I watched Jake Paul all to research for this video. Ugh! God, forgive me the sin! Comes to end of another video. If you guys would like a part two, then smash the like button and subscribe. I'm aiming for 300 subscribers by the end of the year. Don't get sucked in by Jake Paul, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, next day, whatever. I don't have a fixed upload schedule.